guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kiana, and today we're back with another video. Today is going to be a styling video on this hair from Perlis Hair. And I just want to show you cute ways to use a crimper and how I style this look. You know, I did like like four looks, but yeah, you guys can ask me about this hair. It's from Perlis Hair on AliExpress. I got a 28, 28, 3 28 and a 20 inch frontal. And this is their, I think their body weight. Or not body wave. I, I mean, it's their loose wave, and I got three bundles, and I got a frontal, so it goes around for my hair, which is why I could do so many styles with it. So if you want to keep watching this video, please keep watching. If you don't, don't. But let's get on with the video. So I'm doing a voiceover throughout this video because I really didn't feel like talking. But the first thing I'm do, well, the first look, it is a um, two cornrow look. Like I don't know how to explain it. But you guys will see, it's just two braids on both sides of my head. And yeah, I thought it was cute. It gave it like a little bohemian vibe with the little waves. But I'm doing two cornrows. I do have to make sure my um, frontal, well, you have to make sure your frontal is very flat to be able to braid it without causing any lifting. But I glued my hair down with Gatsby glue. You can kind of see some like lifting, but in person, it don't look like that. It's just like that on camera because it's a bright light. But yeah, I'm just going to do two corals going down on both sides of my um, face. I used to do this hairstyle in like middle school and high school. But I just wanted to do it for this look because it's cute. But yeah, just continue to watch me do the two braids. So after I'm done doing the braids on either side, I take my crimper, which is from Revlon. I got it off of um, Amazon for like $19, I um, think. I'm going to leave the link down below to the um, crimper. I feel like this is perfect for um, loose wave and um, body wave type texture. It's perfect for like the beach and like perfect for like vacations because it's like it just stayed the pattern stayed and it looks so nice this is how the finished product looks it looks so cute and girly i didn't really do baby hairs because not every look needs baby hairs i feel like this look did not need baby hairs but this is me <laughs> So the second look is similar to the first one, but it's one braid going around like a crown type. Please ignore my family in the background. They just like to be in my videos. Like I can never have like be alone doing my videos, but I'm basically combing out my hair and putting them together. And I just use the front apart. Like I said, more hair just makes it more like, I don't know, just too much. But yeah, I'm going to start braiding it. I was kind of messy with this. So you have to make sure that your tracks in the back are covered so you have to part it so that there's at least a little bit of hair covering it but i was so in a rush just to do it because i hate like braiding but you can kind of see the tracks kind of kind of not when i put it down you kind of can't and when i was starting to braid i was kind of messy as well so it doesn't look as nice as the end but yeah i'm just gonna do like a little braided crown around the um, perimeter of my forehead and it looks so cute when it's done but yeah So now that I'm done braiding it, I do stretch out the braid so that it could be like um, open more and like bigger and fuller so that it just covers the whole lace entirely so you can't see it. I didn't put baby hairs for this look because I don't really need it. I do advise you to still keep pulling at it. I didn't pull it as much as I should have. I should have pulled it more, but it still looked good for the most part. But yeah, at the end, I start stretching it more. But this is the finished look. You have like a little braided crown look. It's so cute. And you could add little clips and stuff to it, but yeah.
So the third look is going to be a half up, half down. I did this and I took pictures in this as well. It looks so cute and I feel like this goes well with any like hair texture. But I like this hair texture because it like, I don't know, just gives a body and makes your hair look like it's moving, you know. But I basically just tie it like your hair half up, half down. It's not that hard to do, but it is kind of when it's a frontal because you have to make sure that you're not pulling your lace off your head but yeah i just use my mousse this hair um hairstyle does require baby hairs not too much i don't put as much as other people but i just put enough to look natural and like it's my own baby hairs so yeah i'm just putting a little baby hairs on the edges so i can look a little cute and that's basically what i do and after that i do take a piece of hair from the back and i wrap it around the hairband because no one likes to see the crusty hairband especially if it's not black so it just makes a neater look and i like that it, look, it just looks better basically so after i'm done with that i will do crimps on it and that's basically it for the style so yeah this concept p to be naki I forgot to mention that if you want a more fuller look in your ponytails, you could add a weave, but I particularly just tease it enough so that it looks like I don't have the hair gaps because I hate the hair gaps. I didn't do as much in this video, but when I wear it out, I usually tease it a lot so you cannot see any gaps or like my hair looking like two strands on top of my head. But this is basically the final look. Don't it look so cute, guys? It's like my favorite look. That one and the first one, but yeah. She's cute, gosh. She's giving you vibes, gosh. So this is the last and final look, which is just a basic look, either a side part or a middle part, but I'm just going to do a middle part. I wanted you to see the crimper that I use. It is from Revlon, like I said, and it's on Amazon. The setting does come, I think 50 is the highest setting, but it gets really, really hot, like really hot. I feel like you need to leave it about like, not even, I feel like five minutes if you really want it crimped. And if you really want it hard, you put hairspray in it. That's what keeps it like staying the whole day. But I don't like it hard, too hard. So I just do it without anything in my hair. But this is basically how it looks while I'm crimping it. It is very nice and very convenient. Like if you have body wave hair, because it looks exactly like the texture. Even like day two, it stays. And like you don't have to do anything. Like just get up and like comb your hair out and it looks bomb. But I do recommend you getting a um, crimper. If you're doing weave, you know, wigs and stuff like this, especially body wave to maintain and keep it up. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This hair will be linked down below if you want to purchase. I do have a coupon, coupon, coupon code for you guys. I've said this thing 50 times and I can't get it right. I do have a coupon code for you guys down below. If you want to use that, you get 10% off, I think. Actually, don't call me on it. I don't know how much you get off. Just use my coupon code and you'll see. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, please comment down below that you want to see more styling videos. I do have a video of how I put on my frontal and uh, previous videos, so you can go check that out. I am going to do a video on how I actually customize my frontal to get it to look like this. But for now, I, you can watch that video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Why is that over DJ? Put him his VVS. Okay. Out of my wrist, counting his spin it.